It all started when Doerr called for progressive members of Congress to withhold their votes for Nancy Pelosi as House Speaker until she agreed to hold a floor vote on Medicare for All. Which has been a huge, huge f f fracas on the interweb and social media. He's been constantly being attacked by those who we would think would be our allies. Figures like Nomiki Konst, Anna Kasparian, Ben Dixon, and Cenk Uyghur. Talking like Jim, people like Jimmy are not qualified or don't have the credentials or haven't been in the movement. Or talking about this, oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, you aren't organizers. What are you guys doing? I have been on the record. I'm for force the vote. I don't care who it came from. There are hundreds of millions of people that elected these members of Congress to go to Congress and represent their interests. We need to force these politicians to do the right thing. We have the force the vote protests when on January 2nd, 3rd and 4th, started at 9 p.m. Eastern each day. People will meet at the corner of the intersection in New Jersey Avenue, Southeast H Street. We have to have Medicare for all. We have to do force the vote. People are organizing in their individual states to get this to happen. I've talked about Wisconsin. We've talked about Washington. So you can't, you need, you can shut the fuck up and stop saying there's no organizing going around this because there is. So right now they have the power. They could do this. Let's see if we can actually hold their feet to the fire. <laughs> depending on this moment. Our country is depending on this moment. And if we really want to say that the United States of America is a modern and moral and socially advanced nation, then that means we need to guarantee health care with a Medicare for all system. And until we do that, we have not earned the right to say that we are an advanced country and have an advanced, humane, and compassionate healthcare system.